Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sustainable Family Home. My name's Zoe, I'm from the Canberra Environment Centre, and I'm here today with another Zoe and Julie and Lulu, and they're going to show us a couple of things that they've been making and growing in their sustainable family home. I can't wait to see what you've got, guys. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, this is an update really quickly on what Lulu's been growing. A few weeks ago, Lulu, what's it called? Can you remember? Um, a wicking garden a bed. A wicking garden bed. Yes. So can you remember, you want to quickly explain how you did it again? Uh, so I cut a milk bottle in half and the top half of the milk bottle is where our dirt and our seedlings went. We've got our parsley seeds and I tied a knot through the fabric so that um, we filled the bottom with water and the fabric um, absorbs the water and goes through to the um, soil and the seeds. So it's pretty much like a self-watering plant. Okay, and so this was done maybe two weeks ago, I yeah. think, and we've just had over the last couple of days a lot of things start to sprout which is pretty exciting yeah and tomorrow we're going to transplant it. what does transplant mean so um we're moving the um the seedlings and the dirt into a bigger pot like our basil so that um it can sprout more freely yeah so we just have a few like questions. I don't know whether anyone online will be able to answer this or maybe at a later time. So Lily thinks there might be a bit of mould growing on top. We're not quite sure. And should we have been changing the water every day, I wonder? Um, we, I change it like every two days. Okay. But the dirt, like, the dirt um, sometimes will come down from the bottom and it makes the water really, oh, really stinky. Yeah. Well, do, do you want me to talk to you about that, Lulu? I've done a little bit of work with growing things. I haven't done many wicking pots like you. I think your idea is super cool. Um, I wouldn't worry about changing the water so much. It will go a bit stinky, but that's just because it's alive. It's got uh -huh. living things in it. It's just kind of like your compost a bit, is a bit stinky because it's got living things in it. Um, same as that, the mould shouldn't matter too much. Um, oh because again, the dirt is alive. What you might wanna do, it might just be that smell and that mold might be because it's a little bit too damp because you've got such a good um, wicking action with the water traveling up into the pot. Ah. So you could, are you putting it in direct sunlight? You could just try and make sure that it's really warm. I um, think yeah. Didn't have it in oh, though, yesterday so. you didn't have an indirect sunlight. Yeah, yeah, because what we have been doing is moving our little trolley where we've got our avocado plants on. We keep wheeling it from place to place, trying to find the sunniest and warmest spot in the house. It's a classic Canberra conundrum, isn't it? Trying to it find is. the sun in the house. And see, we've got some potatoes that we're trying to um, sprout before we plant them. Yeah, so we can keep finding like the warm spots. We're hoping that that will make it bigger. Well then Zoe, what do you think? Do you think this is big enough then to transplant or should it, we wait a little bit longer? Um, so I, I would wait a little bit longer. Those are like the little, little tiniest baby leaves, the first yeah. leaves that you get on a plant. I'd wait until the plant gets its first true leaves, the ones that just start looking like a miniature version of the real plant before you transplant. Okay. So give it another little while. In winter, it'll take a little bit longer. So, you know, just sort of like enjoy that process and watch the plants growing. Okay. So the overall advice there is not to worry too much. It's mm -hmm. a growing thing mm -hmm. and we'll leave it a little bit longer. Yep. And keep it in the sun. And um, maybe if you think, if you feel like it's getting too cold and damp, you could give it a day out of the water and then a day back in the water. That might help as well. Um, ah, cool. Yeah. Good idea. But all in all, Lulu, it looks awesome. It's really impressive. Pretty happy, Lulu? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks well, for that the was update. One update. Now, Zoe, Zoe, you want to take over? You want to talk to us about the Sunday afternoon that Zoe had creating things? Where do we start, Zoe? Should we start with this box? Well, I said Saturday. Oh, was it Saturday as well that we were creating? Saturday and yeah, Sunday. Saturday. Cool, we were, we were pretty busy on the weekend. Okay, talk us through. 
Soy Mano. So then two bunnies, which is where we get wood from. Yeah, so we yeah, so we we need to go to the green shed next. We went to Bunnings and just got a big strip of wood um, that we then learnt how to saw. Although Mummy sawed not really Zoe because the saw was quite sharp. And what did we do with? Uh, we have a whole collection. We don't have many left Mom, anymore. So we have so many lids. Just so many many lids. We so keep lids mom, from everything. So my mum drilled holes in all of the lids that we've kept. And we have lots of Play-Doh lids. We used to love to do. And what did we make? So my mum made my mum made lots of um mobiles. And Can I hold she, it up? And oh. she put them in her study. So we've got like milk bottle lids, Play-Doh lids, more Play-Doh lids. I think this is like a dishwashing detergent lid and more milk bottle lids that we kind of tied all together with string so we could hang them up as a display. I I, that's what I did. I was, I was busy making that. And what were you doing, Zoe? I was using the lids that my mum to nail them into wood. So I got like, my mum literally drilled and everything, even this. So this was a candle, um, this was a lid of a big jar that had a candle in it. And we cleaned out the jar so we could reuse the jar. And then now we've got the lid and we've drilled a hole in it just to make it a little bit easier. But you don't necessarily have to, because on these ones, Zoe, we didn't drill any holes, did we? No, we just ham it. Okay. What so, do you, yeah? So you, you want to get a lid that has had a drill that I'm first going to show you. Okay. These are some examples. I've got a DJ kit here. Okay, so talk us through your DJ, oh, careful. Talk us through your DJ kit. So, mum sawed some wood up. And then, um, I just hammered some lids in kind of like a cool pattern. I have no idea what I was making. And then I felt like it was really like cool and what it was. So I made um a, so I made it into a DJ kit. And then my and my mom suggested to hammer on a fork, so then I made the so so I made the fork a scratcher like that. Because like that. Um because when I was little I was like obsessed with D days. I know right. Um and um, I got, uh, like, um, then I decided since it's now a DJ kit, I'm going to make like a little volume one, and this one goes really well, and then I know, and I remember how, like, in Barbie, I think, I don't know, <laughs> um, how there's, like, this, um, the line thing that you move up and down, so I kind of made, like, just tied some stuff to it, like some strings, wood. Piggy's having fun in the background with her <laughs> leftover bone. Yep, keep going. And, and then, what's this bit? And then I sh I could have just like used it like a sharpie thing, but instead I just taped some paper to it, and it's kind of like a I don't know. I just I don't even know what it is. It's just like yeah, it was fun. Yeah, and then I um and then and yeah, so this I call this sound effect because I know the volume, and then like I just made up random names. Seven eight five nine B one four three B two and then scratcher. Scratcher. Cool. So that was what we made on Saturday. Saturday. And then what did you make on Sunday? Then my friend came over and um, Yeah, you introduced a friend to hammering, didn't you? We don't think she'd ever hammered before, but she got really into it. I think she may be hammered. She Maybe she's she hammered. Yeah. And she made something with her grandpa. Oh. I think. Okay. Yeah, uh so um so she got like, or she well, so we both um we both like cut some wood in half. So I did it. So I forgot she made something. I and uh, she made like a DJ set yeah, too. Yeah. Um, and so then I I got a mic two, mic one. I made yeah, so we used some old chopsticks. Mhm. Mm and I made a microphone set, and then it got like sound effect. Sound effect. Volume, vo sound effects, and volume, and sound effects only does echo, but it's just called sound effect. 
And then you've got like this, this is, this is the main mic. That's why it's called mic one. So usually you want to place it on something, you put it on, and if it doesn't have a back to it, because it's kind of like a little bit thin, well, it usually would be stable other than just this line. <laughs> um, um, you would... <laughs> She's having fun, we're just watching 